Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. We just got a new side quest. We were on our way to go meet Ross, but we got sidetracked. Uh, we met this woman standing on top of a large rock calling out for her brother, who was supposed to come back uh, after his exile. Uh, he was exiled just like us, but uh, when she went to his camp, because he never came back, all she found was blood. So we're going to go investigate and see what happened to her brother. My prediction is he's dead and will likely bring back bad news but whatever she deserves closure and ouch that was not the best way to get down from that ledge all right here we go all right so i think we're going to uh, yes okay our quest objective says go to his camp okay we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna start at the same place his sister did at the camp we're gonna see these blood stains for ourselves and come to a reasonable conclusion. I should be collecting medicine all along the way because um, my medicine pouch is not full and we're also going to use a lot of that medicine to heal ourselves up after that fall. Right. Looks like the camp is still a little ways off. Might need that. Wonder what these shock shock wax roots are. I see a watcher. Let's see if we can snipe these guys from far off. I'm interested in buying that long range bow from um what's his face? That seemed like a good deal. I think we're too far off to snipe them from here. Either we get closer or we just sneak around them. Though those metal shards are good. If I want to be able to afford better weapons, I need to... They see me. That's fine. Alright, one is taken care of. Am I doing good on arrows? Yeah, I've still got 17. Alright, they're on high alert. They see their dead friend. Perfect. Couldn't have done it better in my dreams. Okay, taking all these metal shards. I think before we go to see Rost, we should go back to that trader. See if we can uh, afford any other weapons. Um, today, I also want to try out some of my stealth skills. So, if we can get close enough to some machines, I think we have a stealth takedown. A silent stealth takedown that we can use. Um, but we also have a drop silent takedown, so if we can get to a, le a ledge above our targets, we can also drop down and, and uh, take them down that way. Alright. This camp is... keeps getting farther and farther away. It's kind of nice that the quest markers guide you, like, breadcrumbs, almost towards the target destination, but at the same time, it's misleading about how far away Red things actually are. Ow. Okay. I did not see that guy. And I'm starting to have an idea what happened to this poor guy. I think he might have gotten killed by machines. Blood, but no body. There's gotta be more to this. Blood, but no body. All right, let's turn on our superpower. See what we can find.
Our superpower isn't telling us anything. Oh, what's this? Campfire. That's just the campfire. Alright, I'm gonna turn it off for a second and see if I can't interact with anything in the camp. Oh, there's just E. Examine the campfire. Okay. Looks like a few drops of blood lead away from the camp. Okay, so we gotta follow this blood trail. It's leading away from camp. So, we're on our way. Press G when the reticule is over tracks to tag them. Okay, so the tracks that we want to highlight are the blood trail. Alright. Alright, the blood trail leads up. Whose knife is this? Interesting. Did someone attack Brom with it? Maybe it's Brom's knife. Looks like more blood leading away from here. Alright, we're gonna highlight the track again. And onwards. We don't have time to be hunting turkeys. This guy could be in danger. We're running as fast as we can. There, a bucket. A bucket? Ah! The blood was in a bucket, so he's trying to lure something away, perhaps. Let's see what Did she says. Did someone bring the blood to the camp? The trail so of blood ends here. It's a fake blood trail. But whoever left it must have also left tracks. Okay, so either somebody was using a bucket of blood to leave a fake trail to throw us off of what was actually happening, or somebody was trying to like lure a predator or something with the scent of blood. Let's find out whoever was carrying this bucket where they went. Maybe it was Brom trying to fake his own death. Okay, I don't see any um, any dangers out here, so I'm kind of gonna not be crouching and not be too careful. All right, looks like we climbed over this ladder. Are we officially out of the embrace? All right, let's take down some of these watchers. I want to try a silent takedown, but um. Okay, I think if you're gonna hit them in the eyes, you have to attack from the front. Okay, hopefully we've lost them. Okay, they've lost sight of us. Perfect. I think they're a little far away to snipe. Let's see if we can hit. We can. Okay. Alright. We have 7 out of 20. Let's craft 10 more. Saving these for the trail. Okay. Anything to loot, we'll loot on the way. We got my watcher lens. Here's another watcher. There should be one more for us to loot somewhere. If we don't find the body, that's fine. We don't need to get every last scrap that's owed to us. I'm not gonna go out of my way to look for it. We have a task at hand. We're trying to rescue this guy who's potentially in trouble but actually maybe faked his own death. I'm starting to feel less and less bad for this guy. Okay, there's a, oh, that's just a turkey. Alright, 
apparently went around this way. That's twisted. I wonder if the blood from the camp came from this boar. That's twisted. What is this? Uh, it's a head. If Brom did this, why does he want people to think he's dead? And why desecrate the shrine? So this is a shrine that he desecrated by putting a dead head on it. All right. We're going to go ahead and highlight his track again. We're going to continue in his footsteps. What are those scrappers picking at? Scrappers. These things are dangerous. Okay, we've learned our lesson. Don't mess with scrappers. Be very careful. Alright. So they have some weak points. If we go into our bestiary, is it the notebook? I think it's the notebook. Machine catalog. Shouldn't we have an entry for scrappers? I mean, we attacked some scrappers. Do I need to use my, um, scanner on it? Alright. So now that I've scanned it, it should be in my notebook. Scrappers. Okay. Scrappers body. Hard outer casing to protect synthetic muscle and operational systems. So the power cell is on their back. This is weakness to shock and tear. I think tear is just physical damage. Um, and the radar is the spiky thing on their, the top of their, their back. And that's also weakness to physical damage. Okay, so if we can destroy those two parts, those are going to be, those are going to aid us. Problem is, it's getting a good line of sight on this thing. See if I can, can't sneak around this way. Yeah, there's some medicine while we're here. Is it coming back? Uh-oh, I think there are multiples. That's gonna make this significantly more complicated. What are they doing over there? Can I see their tracks? Okay, so apparently he's gonna walk right by us. That was a silent strike. That was amazing. Okay, now we need to get around behind this guy so he doesn't see us. Okay, those things are great. That's an easy way to take care of these kind of tanky creatures. Okay, there is a watcher around here. Alright. Thankfully we took care of that watcher, but I want to make sure that scrapper wasn't alerted in the process. I don't think the scrapper was alerted. We're gonna have to go back. Those scrappers might have good loot. Alright, I wanted to see if we could potentially sneak up from behind it. And if so... Perfect! Looks like it was a watcher. Whoever I'm following made short work of it. Alright. So the scrapper was scrapping the watcher. If it's Brom, he definitely knows how to handle a spear. Okay. Was dispatched by whoever was, had the blood. Okay. We are on to, we're on to this guy. 
I need to get tracks again. Follow this guy. He can take out a watcher, but so can we. So, even if he's hostile towards us, I don't think we need to be too afraid. We eat watchers for breakfast. Um, what? It stops here. Did he climb up? I think he climbed up. Someone loaded these supplies. Let's look at this. Examine the supplies. It's kind of hard to get the um, the tooltip to pop up. Brom was an outcast for a long time. Why take food and gear now? Okay. So man runs around with a fake bucket of blood to make people think he died. He desecrated a shrine. He had to dispatch some monsters on the way, and then he looted some supplies up here. All for what? All for what? Um, I think we need to get the tracks again. Highlight track. Alright, let's drop from the ledge. Nope. Come on. Aloy, go down. I don't know how to make Aloy go down. If I press space, she goes up. If I press down, this is as low as she'll go. Okay, C works. Alright, let's continue following his tracks. It's the supplies from the cache. Oh, Brom! Why would they take them and just throw them away? Full health potion, fast travel pack, seems pretty good. So we need uh, supplies to do fast travel in, the, in this game. That is good to know. I haven't seen a autosave location in a while. Hopefully we don't die anytime soon. All right. I will, I'll, I'll kill myself. I'll kill myself before I hurt her. Before you hurt who? Brom, talk to us. I like that slow-mo shot. I won't listen! Is this guy going nuts? I will. I'll, I'll kill myself. I'll kill myself before I hurt her. You, you're not a spirit. What do you want? I want you to step away from the edge, Brom. No. Leave me alone. Can't you see I need time to think? I, how, how, how am I supposed to think when everybody is shouting at me? Right. This guy didn't go nuts. He's already been nuts. That's why he was exiled to begin with. He murdered somebody because he said the spirits told him to. Alright. We can forcefully try to yell at him. That might work. Come closer so I won't have to shout. We could try to be witty about this. Or we can offer our sincere, um, our sincerity. Why don't we try to be smart about this? I'm not shouting. I know He's you're crazy. a good listener. We need to trick him. So come listen to me, just as you would the others. They, they say not to listen. <laughs> but, Alara always said, never ignore a speaker I can see. <laughs> All right. I'll hear you out. <sighs> That's better. Now tell me, what's troubling you? Spirits of the forgotten. Souls cursed by the All-Mother. Their voices never let me be. They want me to do things. Hurt people. If I yes, go back to the Nora, they might make me hurt Alara. And I, I'll kill myself before I let that happen. Sounds like do you don't you need to worry about to hurting her then. Spirits, Brom? They're speaking to me right now. Oh, is with me. They take care of me. Keep me company. Help me. Except when they scream. Like when that hunter knocked me down. Crush your skull with the rock, they said. And I did. Brom. You're alive. Is she following us? Oh, mother be praised. I'm sorry I followed you, but I had to make sure he was all right. No. No, 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 no. No. 
Please, sister, I, I, I can't protect you. I need no protection from you, Brom. Uh, he what? fears these what are you gonna do about it then? That he, he says hears he's gonna will kill turn her. against you. Unless your voice can quiet them? Yes. Just as it was before. He only ever hurt someone once, and it was provoked. I... I don't want to hurt you. But the Forgotten, they're... They're whispers. They... They fill my head with screams. Huh. What choice do we make? He only killed one person. It was like ten years ago, right? He had ten years of exile. He's done his time. Yes, he's nuts. But, uh, she obviously thinks he can manage it. Brom isn't ready to return to the Nora. But I don't think he'll hurt you, Alara. There's a place where I can stay. A cave on All Mother Mountain. I suppose you could visit me there. So long as I'm strong. You will be, Brom. I'll help you. Thank you, Aloy. I'll take care of him now. May you walk in All Mother's eternal memory. And may the Forgotten leave you be. Yes, please. I don't want to end up like him. Do we get any reward? Remarkable reward box. So how do I open a reward box? Go to inventory. Special items. This, trade this token to any merchant for your special bonus items. Nora Keeper, Banuk Traveler, Karja Trader. Okay, that's not what I'm looking for. Treasure boxes. Remarkable reward box. All right, let's F, view contents. Okay, we can get a grazer lens. My resources satchel is full. Well, that's a shame. How do I look at my resources satchel? Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five by one, two, three, four. So I have 20 slots here. Capacity, 20 out of 20. Is there a way to upgrade our resources satchel for more carry weight? Like get a backpack or something? Crafting. Carry capacity. Weapon satchel. Outfit satchel. Resources satchel. We just need 50 metal shards and 20 ridgewood? Yeah. Totally worth it. If we get some more meat and some more ridgewood, we can upgrade it again. Okay, that's totally worth it. Um, let's see what else we can upgrade here. Modification satchel, trip caster, hunter bow quiver. This is gonna be worth doing. We use our bow a lot. Potions pouch, we don't use potions too much. Um, but this is definitely gonna be worth it. All right, so let's check out our new, we can hold 30, okay? That's great. 24 out of 30. Um, level six reached. I think that means we have a new perk that we can get. Skills, okay. So we're going down this prowler tree because this gives us a bunch of stealth skills. Time slows while aiming during a jump or slide. That's interesting. I don't know if it's worth it. But what does this lead into? That's more important. Use ranged weapons while balancing on ropes. This could be good for sneaking around. Further reduces your visibility to enemies while crouching. I think this is important to get. Okay. We're going to be super sneaky. Um, we should probably look at some perks in the other trees as well. I don't think it's probably wise to invest all of our points into one tree. So maybe the next few points we increase some of our combat abilities. While aiming, toggle with left shift to slow down time. That might be good. Press left click for a high damage attack on downed enemies. I don't know how often we down enemies. Yeah, but we'll look at some of those later. Um, right now we need to go meet Rost. On our way, I want to stop by the trader. Okay, I'm going to put a little marker there. And um, actually, why don't we go to the Strider site, pick up some resources on our way to the merchant. Where's our flag? Here's our flag. Oh my gosh. 
Okay. Note to self, don't run off cliffs. The skill screen is K. Okay. Good to know. The skill screen is K. I think we need to buy that skill again. Yes, we do. Um, and then other than that, let's try not running off a cliff. How do we get up here? I don't remember how we even got up here. C. All right, yeah, I remember this, okay. Nope. There we go. All right, um, we need to look at the map again. We need to go to this Strider site before we stop to the merchant and then we'll go meet Rost. Uh, we're probably progressing through the main storyline at a snail's pace right now because we're getting sidetracked with every little thing, but that's just how I like to play games. Okay. I'm really bad at aiming. Come on. I need more meat. Apparently I need meat to craft some upgrades. Nutritious. Very nutritious, just the way we like it. All right, we need more Ridgewood too. That's not Ridgewood. This is Ridgewood. Okay, let's back off, they see us. Um, we need to approach through the grasses. Though, if this guy comes over here, we won't hesitate at the opportunity to take him down. Perfect. That was easy. We can go ahead and get some metal shards. Perfect. Okay, there's another watcher right here. We could probably try to take that watcher down. Let's run over to the next pile of grass. Fire kiln root. Interesting. All right, where'd this guy go? Here he is. Perfect. I almost feel bad for these guys. Okay, let's see if we can take down some striders as well. I think those guys might be a little more rewarding to kill. Okay, back into the grass. This snow's got a bite out here. I think we need to take care of the watchers before we take care of the starters, but I'm worried that if we do this, what happened to my upgraded uh, quiver? Oh, I ran off the uh, edge and I died. Okay, I think that's all the kills we're gonna get. Except for the, um... The Watcher. Alright. We took care of them all. We got down two Striders in addition to a Watcher. Hopefully there should be plenty of Metal Shards. Yes. This is great. Lots of metal shards. Um, so we actually, let's go into our inventory. Let's go into crafting. Let's go to carry capacity. We need to increase our resources satchel. F, craft. We need more rich wood and rich meat. Okay, so we need to kill more boars and turkeys and stuff. Um, and we need to get more wood to 
continue increasing our satchel. That's going to be important. Speaking of wood, we can get the wood right here. Where to get the rich meat? I don't think turkeys give us rich meat. I think that's more of a boar thing. And I think the striders ran over here. Did somebody see us? Why are we getting the combat music? Okay, they're gonna walk right past us. And when they do, we'll do a silent takedown. We need to go to the trader. What's his name? Can't remember the trader's name anymore. Oh, we are seen. I wonder if we can outrun this thing. I don't really want to fight this thing melee. I think we're going to lose that fight. I prefer to keep it healthy distance. More Ridgewood, yes please. And uh, we made it to the trader. I need this. Hi. We're back, Karst. Not even gonna say hello. What is it now? That's how you greet us? What is it now? Wow, okay, let's go to weapons. And let's see. I want. I'm interested in this sharp shot bow. This says it has 20 handling, but I oh, I need 105 metal shards. The cheapest thing I can buy, which is the sling, and I don't necessarily even want a sling. Already costs 70, which I don't even have. I don't think we're gonna be able to afford any of this. Can I sell any of my resources that I like don't need? I have a bunch of extra stuff. Modifications. So I have a bunch of, uh, like, resists. 7% resist corruption. 8% resist shock. 5% resist fire. Hmm. We're 12, 12, 12, 10. Okay, I think we can sell the 5% damage. Um, so we hold F to sell. Okay, I don't need a 10% and a 9% fire coil. I'll get rid of the 9. Get rid of the 9. I actually like 15%. I don't think I need 5% resist fire. I like higher percents. Okay, um, so that earned us some extra shards. We have 121 now. What do I have in terms of outfits and weapons that I can sell? I have a trip caster, I have a spear, and I have a Karja Hunter bow. This has 80 handling, which I'm assuming is how fast the bow fires. Um, and then the ammo takes uh, fire arrows or regular arrows. And the regular arrows do 27 damage and 18 piercing. Oh, 18 piercing and 27 tear. Um, so now if I go to buy, we want to just see what the difference is between the damage. So, weapons. The sharp shot bow goes from 80 to 20 handling, so much, much lower. But it does 60 piercing and 30 tear. 60 piercing and 30 tear compared to... Okay, so it does a lot more piercing, but it does a comparable amount of tear damage. I think it's worth worth buying. We can use it from a distance and then we can move in close and use our sh our faster bow. So let's go back to buy. Let's buy the sharp shot bow. Um, F buy. Yes, we will equip it and we will put this bow on the uh, top. Sure. Um, 
rope caster. Warbo. Warbo does shock damage. We don't need a Warbo. Um, resources. Is there anything else we can sell? I know our resource pouch is getting full. Like, do we need boar bones? It is useful in crafting and is valuable to merchants. Um, for now, I'm going to keep everything we have. Strider heart, watcher heart, turkey skin. Until we know what what we need with all these components, we could probably get rid of some. Though we can probably sell multiple sparkers. We have a lot of these. Let's sell, we have 49. Why don't we sell 29 and keep 20? Okay. Um, we're probably doing good on this front. All right. Another day, another trade. Pleasure doing business with you. All right, goodbye. I guess that concludes our business. All right, good luck in the proving blessing of all mother and all that yeah 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 all right let's go to our inventory um if i go to my weapons i can put an upgrade on my sharp shot bow um what do i need to do is that a crafting item modify weapons f modify what do we want to modify this with we don't have any modifications to put in there. That's fine. We will modify it later. All right, off to um, Rost we go. We've left them waiting long enough. I want to try out this new precision bow. So this takes its own sharp shot ammo, I think. Because we have 15 regular arrows and those the regular arrows don't work for this bow. What does it take to craft these? We need wire metal shards and ridgewood. All right, good to know. Um, we need to do some crafting. I'm sorry. We need to increase our arrow capacity. Um, carry capacity. Hunter bow quiver, sharp shot bow quiver. Why don't we upgrade them both? Sharp shot bow quiver. Okay. And hunter bow quiver. All right. So now if I go, I can hold 30. Perfect. I can hold 15. All right. We're all set. Yeah, We're walking through Mother's Cradle. Go ahead and, stare. and everyone's going to stare at us because they won't talk to us. Okay, so this answers our question Watchers is... Watchers are such a waste of time. At least you can get Blaze from a Strider. At least we know we're allowed to walk in the village and they won't like attack us Boss outright. Boss looks strong as always. He'll win the proving. Boss will win the proving. Didn't we just rescue Boss? He does not look strong. He looks insane. This is a long walk. All right, let's try out our Super sniper arrows. Okay. You're not gonna be the one to stop me. All right. We need to have better aim. That was kind of sad. I'm embarrassed for myself. Shooting like that. I've been spotted by the watchers. I think I should retreat into the tall grass. Yes. All right, let's try this again. Oh, those are expensive in terms of Ridgewood. I need to be collecting a lot of Ridgewood. Good to know. Let's just leave this pack behind. I'm embarrassed, we failed. Let's just move on, get out of here. This will help. Collect more medicine. I hear still a lot of commotion behind us. What's going on? Was that in front of us? Let's take the opportunity to save.
And, um, Frost? Hello? Aloy. Oh, here he is. Alright, let's save at this campsite. I know we just saved, but this one is actually next to Frost in case we die.